Hello everyone, welcome and thank you for joining my channel. If you're here, my name is Kevin. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't yet. In this video, I'm very excited to show you guys the easiest way to wire a three-way circuit. Alright, here we go! Here right in front of us, I'll be showing you guys a demonstration of the easiest and least complicated three-way circuit. Depending on your scenario, if you're working on a new build or an existing build, hopefully your three-way setup is wired like this. Coming in, here we have a 14-2 wire, which will carry the power source, going into location A box. And coming out of location A box, here we have is a 14-3 wire, going into location B box. And coming out of location B box, here we have is a 14-2 wire, going into the light box. And if you're working on an existing build where you have drywall on and you cannot see which wire is which, it does not matter since we only have one device on this three-way circuit. Even though you turn off the breaker, it's a good practice to double check if the circuit is de-energized. The best method of doing that is by using a voltmeter. You want to change the settings to volts and have one of the leads on the ground wire and hopefully all the ground wires are bonded together properly. And using the other lead, you want to touch the bare wire. Touch each individual wires to make sure there's no potential difference on this meter. So far so good. There's no voltage jump. And here we have, touching the last wire, we have a potential difference of 123. So the circuit is still live. So you want to double check the circuit breaker and turn off the right one. Let's start at the light, the easiest thing first. The first thing we want to do is using the ground wire to bond this box, wrap around the grounding screw clockwise only. And next we want to ground the light if you can. The neutral wire or the white wire on the silver screw and black wire on the brass screw. Let's start with box A. The first thing we want to do is bond this box with both of the grounding wires from the 14.3 and from the 14.2. I already did the step to speed some time. As you can see, I cut one of the wires shorter and left one of the wires about six inches long. Now next step, we want to splice the neutral wires together. Here in my hand, I have is a splicing connector. I will leave more information in the description below. Now we want to tuck these neutral wires back of the box nicely. Now the next step, we want to bond the switch with this remaining grounding wire. And if you don't have a grounding wire like the old houses does, doesn't, all you would have to do is just cut a spare piece of ground wire and just install under one of the grounding screws. And if you don't have extra copper wire laying around, it's okay. These screws can be bonding screws. It will bond to this box. That's okay. Now the next step is very important. This black wire is from the 14-2 wire. It is very important you place this wire under this black screw. Now this next step, it does not matter if you choose black first or red first, either or, either or does not matter. We can mix and match, it will still work the same. And when you strip these wires, it's best to not leave any bare wire showing past the bottom of this base. Now I can put the switch on the box. Now over to box B, I will repeat the steps. Now we can test this circuit 
The reason why I left the switch unmounted is because I want to show you guys it does not matter which traveler wire you install under the brass screw. The only main important thing is you have to install the black wire from the 14-2 under this black screw. Turning on the power source. The power is now on. Let's do some basic tests. Test completed. That is a success. Now I will interchange these wires. Instead, on this side will be a black traveler and on the other side will be the red traveler. Turning the power source once again. Power is now on. Now the moment of truth. And there you have it. That's the easiest way to wire a three-way circuit. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Peace out until next time.